Welcome back, guys. This reading is going to be for Geminis. All right, Geminis, let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. So we're going to talk about your feelings, their feelings, past, present, and future of this connection. Okay, Gemini. So we got the hermit in reverse um, as far as the feelings that your person has for you. So with the hermit card being in reverse, there is a withdrawal from this individual, you know. Uh, the hermit, you know, can indicate isolation, withdrawing from the relationship, you know, either one of you guys, um, but in this case, it's your person that is creating, you know, that time for introspection and that time for self-reflection, and they're even taking a break emotionally. Um, they have a need right now for uh solitude you know if you take a look at this card they want you know they want to be alone you know they want to be completely unbothered i'll flip around so you guys can get a better view of it so you see what she's doing here she's closing her laptop and she's in a dark room doesn't want to be bothered by anybody just wants complete you know time to herself so they are definitely disconnecting from you. Let's see what kind of messages we can pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck about your person. How is Gemini's person feeling? Okay. So it says I want to feel that way again. So this person is unhappy right now with the way that things are going and they're missing a certain part a certain aspect of the relationship that they had with you before now with that being said let's take a look at your feelings right now and your feelings are the eight of pentacles in reverse now gemini with the eight of pentacles being in reverse you feel like you know there's a lack of focus or a lack of commitment on your person's behalf um so you feel like you know they're withdrawing and you know they're struggling to meet those emotional needs that you have right now and the reason for that is you know them being with the hermit card being in isolation of course you're bound to feel like that so you're showing feelings of being unfulfilled and dissatisfied with you know the relationship because right now you don't see any progress you don't see anything moving forward and you're craving these things okay sorry about that um so the card that we got is i feel you even though we are apart so like i was explaining there is some sort of disconnection here you know you don't feel their commitment you don't feel things you know moving forward and i really feel like you want this person to you know move things forward with you I feel like that's your intent here. Uh, let's take a look at the card in the past position. So we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So I feel like you guys have, you know, a past here where you were trying to rebuild trust. Um, you could also have been letting go of, you know, deceitful patterns, uh, you or your person you know, and overcoming past challenges with the Seven of Swords in reverse. You know, overall, you know, the Seven of Swords, it brings you a message of honesty, trust building, and the opportunity to let go, you know, of those negative patterns that are in your relationship. You know, it signifies a shift towards transparency and, you know, a commitment to rebuilding trust within the relationship. 
So I feel like you guys have addressed, you know, these past challenges and you were embracing open communication, you know, um, in the past. This partnership, you know, has the potential to grow stronger. Um, so let's see where we stand out, right, Gemini? So as of right now, in the present moment, we have the strength card in reverse. So with the strength card, um, sorry, the strength card, uh, you're basically, you know, pulling that inner strength out of you, that courage, you know. Um, either you or your partner, you know, need to have the ability to face these challenges and overcome these obstacles together. So I feel like there might have been some challenges in the past. And right now you're growing, you know, the strength to get through these things. You know, you want to be taming any conflict that is sitting between you guys currently so you guys do have the capacity you know to have a peaceful resolution and maintain that balance in the relationship but spirit is asking you to take a gentle and patient approach when it comes to dealing with this you know these conflicts and you know with your person being pretty much gone right now um so you need some time you know to get your emotional stability back in control and this card you know can signify you know you're growing into that maturity you're growing into that empathy and you are able to handle these emotions you know with grace and understanding Gemini. so you know with you guys having a past history of you know things not being in order with your relationship and currently at the moment, you're both trying to find the strength to, you know, pull everything together. Now, as far as the future card, we have the Knight of Pentacles and a reverse position. And with this card, you know, it's showing that there's an increase of effort and flexibility and movement within the relationship. But it's going to take time. This is a Pentacles card. And, you know, with the suit of Pentacles, it usually means slow paced. So you both need to you know come to a level of commitment and address any changes and work towards creating a more balanced relationship um, by addressing these issues and the stagnation the relationship can definitely experience growth but like i said before it's gonna take some time and it's gonna take a deeper level of commitment and it's gonna have to be you know, coming from both parts. I'm going to pull a Hidden Truth Oracle card. What's the future look like for Gemini and their person? Okay. So, the card that we got is, I want to be more than friends. So, you guys definitely do want things to work for you. You know, futuristically, you do see a bright future with this person. You want to take things to the next level. There's just a little bit of hurdles right now that you have to overcome. And, you know, don't be so angry at your person for, you know, being in their hermit mode right now. This will pass and they just need your sympathy and your company. Um, they need your understanding. And I feel that if you guys are willing to put in that work things will work out for you. I'm going to pull a few initials from here to see who this reading may resonate with. All right, sorry guys. Who is this reading for? Okay, so we have the letter A. And this could be names, you know, last names, initials uh, for... You know, it could be nicknames or anything. We have the letter N, T, F, B, D, and the letter Q. So if your initials start with any of these or their initials start with any of these, then this reading might be for you. Even if your initials were not there, you know, there may be some things in this reading that could help you. So always take what resonates and leave what doesn't with that being said i will leave you guys to it thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe 
If you would like a personal reading, my number is on the board, 904-290-1540. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.